Hi, I'm Mike. Hey, I'm Kelsey. We're into telling you stories. Sometimes funny, sometimes awkward, sometimes creepy or sad, but who knows? Every month it's different, but no matter what, you'll be asking yourself. Okay, WTF. Welcome, friends. Hello, hello. Hey, Mike. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, You know, I'm guessing if anyone's listening to this, it's because they heard our amazing teaser and mm-hmm. they thought no better way to get stoked for flag day. Um, our favorite holiday. <laughs> favorite holiday. Uh, and now that they've arrived for this conversation, this in-between episode to tide you over before episode one drops on June 14th. And, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about it and mm-hmm. how we got here has been a fun time. It's been a journey trying to get everything together, but you know, sometimes it's nice just to find out like, why are we even doing this? <laughs> like, why are these two <laughs> random people from random places sitting here and telling super awkward, weird, hilarious, strange stories to each other um, monthly. Uh, so I suppose this is a little quickie, <laughs> uh, just to talk a little bit about the why and um, uh, the origin of OKWTF. Yeah, and it's a great way to get people uh, even more excited for Flag Day, as you've already mentioned. <laughs> um, and also, uh, as we're hoping people submit more stories, hopefully if they hear the original story mm. uh, that started it, it will give people more uh, ideas for what they can submit <laughs> and uh, we can have a really interactive conversation here with all of our listeners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, we didn't actually arrive to this podcast in its future form. Like what people no. hear on flag day, episode one drop June 14th. Again, time out. <laughs> our favorite holiday. Favorite holiday. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, what they'll hear was not really initially what we thought it would be, which I think is really interesting too. Mm. Um, we initially conceptualized a podcast of sorts. Yes, it had to do with like strange storytelling, but initially we also thought we were going to call it something like what? What were some of the names? Yeah, so we had like um, there was like missing some pieces. Um, mm-hmm. It was very like puzzle themed early on. Yes. It was going to be yes. like a, a mystery kind of thing. Not like, but not mystery. in like a, yeah, like not in a mystery mystery, like yeah. not a freaky true crime way. It was more like a, we felt like everyone has weird stories to tell mm. things where you're like, we we're sitting on a bench in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We had just <laughs> gotten delicious donuts. Wonderful. Um, yeah. They were amazing. We had our respective partners with us and it was a beautiful day. And we were, we're sitting on, chatting the on a bench. Yes. Yeah. We were chatting on a bench about, you know, how life is super weird. Um, we're in our mid late thirties. We are um, working our butts off mm. for better or for worse. And, you know, sometimes uh, we just need a little bit more fun or just like to use our brain in different ways. And, um, you know, it just also reminded me of just people are, are so weird. And I was sitting there and thinking about, I don't remember what happened. What did we see a bird? Like, so, was there a bird nearby? <laughs> I remember we were, we were talking about an escape room, uh, because mm. there was an escape room nearby in Portsmouth. Um, and I think there was, yes, we were sitting, <laughs> you and I were sitting near each other. Yes. Uh, my partner Amber was across and I think Pat mm. was next to you or your mm. partner was next to you. Yes. Um, and we had our donuts open to the world uh, <laughs> and there were like gluten-free donuts and like fancy ones with like cardamom and rose petals and something weird. <laughs> and I think a pigeon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah either like encroaching Lurking. on our face or was like flying nearby mm-hmm. and was 
clearly like scoping oh out yes and i i think i was also like what if it like takes yeah. a dump on us yes. yes okay and then that immediately sparked an internal memory and like in that moment sitting on the bench my brain just like went down four thousand different spirals because i was like oh my god <laughs> i remember something that was so weird that I was a part of at one point in my life that I cannot recall all the details of why I was there, what I was doing, how I even got there, who got me there. There were just so many questions. Um, and I started telling the story about, I was, um, I did a program in high school where I went to college early and during, it was like around that time I was, I was in this, I was in college and I don't even, I don't have enough details to give you the full picture other than one day at that time of my life, I arrived somewhere in Connecticut, I think, at this woman's home that was like full of birds of all different kinds. And my whole reason for being there was because um, I think the woman had maybe passed away or needed to like get care or something. And there were like, we're talking hundreds and hundreds of birds of all different kinds, birds that should not live in the Northeast birds uh, that were massive, an entire home. This woman lived in this home in a very small corner of it and mm -hmm. everything else was birds. There was crap everywhere. It was rather disgusting. And then even on the property outside and we spent that whole day, we, I say we, I imagine I was with someone because I would not do this by myself. You had a chaperone um, somewhere. I must have. Yeah. Um, or a friend I don't recall. If if you're out there and you were yeah. with me or you also have this memory and you need to know who, what, when, where, why. <laughs> that was another name of the podcast, I think. Yeah, um, it was. I got to say, is this yeah. like your attempt, this whole podcast? Is this your like grand scheme attempt to track down yes. this person? Okay. All to right. track down right. who, what, when, where, why. Yeah. I don't know how long it was there. It felt like a lifetime. There was so much cleanup <laughs> and there were like people from the state there and like, a, like animal activists and things because they had to find homes for these birds. And yeah. Oh, and some of these birds were in really bad uh, states. Like they, you know, um, multi yes yes and unwell and it just it was wild but i i literally cannot remember why i was there and i have plenty of stories like this that are kind of hilarious when you think about it um sometimes i'm like it's sad i don't remember what that was that was such a fun thing sometimes it's like oh that was kind of sad they're just all of these moments and i constantly am thinking about my life as like <laughs> these weird chapters of a book that like i'm kind of just watching at this point or reflecting on but I have so many missing details. So um, that kind of prompted this. And we started thinking like, oh, it would be really cool if we did a podcast where we're telling these stories and other people can join us and tell their weird mm. stories that are missing pieces. Um, and it has just morphed and morphed and morphed. And I'm mostly just grateful to be doing it. I've had a podcast before and it was super fun, um, but I'm excited to do something very different and to do it with such a good friend and now we're telling stories to each other that are kind of all over the place some are yeah. current day some are super old um and they're all just kind of weird freaky sketchy stuff or just like what it's literally at wtf yeah um yeah i remember originally so i remember sitting on that bench uh um, yeah clearly and thinking <laughs> as you were saying the story i'm like if this was a podcast i'd listen to it and i think i yeah i think we were talking about that and then all of us were just kind of like looking around at each other like this mm. could actually be a podcast <laughs> um so then our wheels wheels started turning and originally like we were thinking okay we'll just collect stories from uh, ourselves our our past and mm -hmm. other people uh but then it kind of morphed and changed into let's find some weird stories from the past as well mm -hmm. uh either ancient or mm -hmm. modern um add that in and then eventually we came to the wtf award yeah yeah and i hope it will just grow from there so i hope 
um, you know, that gives you some semblance of ideas for stories to send in. Like you mm. can send us your super weird stories where yeah. you're like, this happened to me once. And I'm like, you know, WTF yeah. or, um, you know, it happened to someone, you know, or, um, it might be something from your community or something you heard that you got more insights from. We have a whole form on our website, www.okwtfpodcast.com. One mm-hmm. word. Um, there's a form there to submit your story. Of course, it needs to be a story you can tell. Um, it can't have any like details that you shouldn't be sharing. Uh, we've right. got all the legal stuff on there. Yeah. Uh, but we want to hear from you. And, you know, we're open. This is a, a, a fun project for us. Um, this is not our day job. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, this is um, just something we do because it brings us joy. It's interesting and it has a community edge to it. So check that out. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a huge, huge proponent of storytelling um, mm. and a lot of things I do. And this seems like another evolution of that. And I am totally. so excited uh, both to be hanging out with you, Kelsey, all the time, Woo. but to hear from our audience and um, either discuss <laughs> like what they yeah. send in or we even talked about maybe uh, sometimes having people on and hearing mm-hmm. the story from their voice. And then we would be the ones who are like, all right, let's try and fill in these pieces. Like, <laughs> what, what else? Who, what, WTF. And, where, why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and maybe you can win the WTF award. Maybe, you know what? Maybe it's going to be a uh, okay. WTF flag. You know, because we love. Oh, flag day. I don't know. I'm not saying oh, anything. You can say. You can conjecture. I don't brilliant, know. Yeah. brilliant. We'll I have thoughts. Merch. Yeah, we will figure that out. <laughs> so, Mike, where can people RSV to our party that starts on Flag Day, June 14th? Yeah. So, as you mentioned, they can go to our website www.okwtfpodcast.com, all one word, or they could go to their favorite social media platforms um our handle on all of them are is uh, at okwtf podcast um and uh we will be releasing our first episode on flag day june 14th our favorite hold on let me get real close our favorite holiday um we're so stoked 2023 it's a wednesday um, yes. And uh, every month we'll be dropping new episodes. Yeah. So listen in. Thanks for being here. If you find us on your favorite podcast uh, platform of choice, rate us, review us. Five stars are greatly appreciated. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget to submit your story. We're so stoked. So Thanks, stoked. Mike. Thank you. Thanks for getting weird with us. Submit your own OKWTF stories for us to share by visiting www.okwtfpodcast.com. And stay in touch on all the social platforms at OKWTF Podcast. Make sure to rate, review, and subscribe to OKWTF on your streaming service of choice. Thank you so much to Out of Flux and Ayal Talmudi for the use of their song, Da Boom Jiggle. And thank you to Bilal Sarwar for their incredible cover art. Until next time.